Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly readings for the 7th to the 13th of April. A couple of updates so I don't forget. The first one is I am going on holidays between the 15th and the 22nd of April. So there will be no readings during that time. I'm not doing personal readings or anything. So um, I will get them done as soon as I come back. We're doing this reading for Gemini. And the other reminder, of course, is for my Facebook um live which I'm going to do on the 28th of April at 9am Australian time so you'll need to join my page at the Aussie Goddess uh, my Facebook page um, I'm going to do card pulls for an hour we'll see how we go and then we'll um, might do them more regularly then hey if we can have some fun all right Gemini what I have here for you for the next week is you <laughs> you've come up in your own reading so this is the card of the Queen of Swords, which represents Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Now this Queen is ready to have a conversation here. She, at the moment she's being more than open, but she does have her sword ready if she needs to speak a truth or if she needs to cut something out. Um, she is moving forward in a very big hurry here. So something's pushing her to move forward on something. So you may be an air sign who's being encouraged to move forward on a fire sign. So it could be you have a fire sign in your sights. Now the other thing you could be doing here when I look at how the cards are is moving away from a fire sign very, very quickly. So some of you could be separating from somebody here. Yeah, you could be separating from something that could be the family home or you could be moving towards someone for stability. Let's see. Okay, so look at this, straight in with the Knight of Swords. So there's something coming in very, very rapidly here. Again, with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This Knight's got something to say. He's got his sword held high and he's ready to express himself. So it looks like it's come at because there's been some sort of altercation, misunderstanding, issue or problem here. Because he's moving away from something that's caused him conflict and moving towards something new here. Okay, seven of cups here. So this is coming out of some, some sort of confusion and moving towards clarity. Okay, devil energy. Devil talks about obsession, can be lust, can be about the ego. Hmm, unravelling a reading. Okay, justice. This is about karma here. Putting things right. Getting things back into balance again. Something that's been confusing. Something to do with an earth sign quite possibly here. Okay, the Hierophants here, which talks about stability. There is a brand new start with this Ace of Wands here. And a Truth coming out with the Ace of Swords. And then we have a very good outcome. Okay, Gemini, let's have a good look at this here. Somebody is moving away from something after some sort of altercation. They are going towards new starts. There is a lot of energy around this to say it was very confusing. There was a lot of conflict. And you are, you are moving away from something very, very quickly. Now, it could be a marriage here. With the Hierophant here. This could be about work too because the Hierophant does represent big organisations but this is about you moving away from something that was extremely controlling and extremely and had you bound and tied here. Um, you don't look it could be a marriage you're walking away from but whatever it is it's clearing the path for a brand new start, clarity and sun. I feel like you've been in the clutches of this person for too long and it's caused you a lot of confusion. And now you're moving away from it very, very quickly to have a brand new start here. Um, 
You could be moving towards someone else for a brand new star. So it could be that you're coming out of some sort of situation and moving into something brand new as we saw at the beginning there. So you could be leaving one person and moving towards another person. Could be leaving a job to move towards another job. But something you're doing in a very big hurry here because it's caused you a great deal of confusion. Um, this devil energy doesn't feel good at all. It feels like you've been tied and bound to something that you rather would have not been tied and bound to. So you're definitely moving in a brand new direction here. Um, this could be about could be about legal justice as well, um, especially with having this justice card and hierophant together. It could be you've come out of some sort of court situation. Um, something where you've had to um, had to fight for your rights here against something. Could be that you fought against the system. If that's the case, you're coming out on top here, Gemini. It's a beautiful outcome. Um, you have the sun shining here. So we're talking about the spiritual law of attraction in this card here. So let me just have a look what that means. Okay, the situation you're inquiring about has come to you via the spiritual law of attraction. You've attracted certain people or situations because they mirror your thoughts, emotions and beliefs. In the same way, people and situations that you once found desirable are now moving out of your life as you've shifted your energy through your spiritual path. Like attracts likes, means that everything and everyone that you draw into your life is similar, similar to your thought patterns. If you want to change who or what you attract, hold more positive, loving and joyful thoughts. The Ascended Masters and Angels can help you with this shift. So what they're saying is that you've been in a pretty tough situation here. And in order to move towards something better, you have to let this go and change your way of thinking. But that's what I said. It's, it feels to me like you've been bound to something that wasn't nice at all. Gemini, I'm glad you're moving away from it. Have a great week.